Hello, my name is Ricardo Campos. We're here with United We Dream. Uh, we're at the inauguration, the governor inauguration, and we are here to send a very clear message. Um, uh, Senator Warner and Senator Tim Kaine are right here at the inauguration. Uh, they voted in December, unfortunately, uh, for our deportation when the, he decided not to vote. When he decided to vote uh, for a uh, continuous resolution that didn't include the DREAM Act. Uh, we're right here because we believe that they can be our heroes and we believe in them. Uh, we have been great supporters uh, of, of um, all the work that they have been doing in Virginia. Uh, however, we know that they have the opportunity to rectify, to come out of the deportation caucus they're currently at uh, and just be, uh, you know, once again the champions that they have always been in Virginia to make sure that they vote not on a continuous resolution unless a DREAM Act is attached. Uh, we know that this is an opportunity that they have uh, and we know that they are going to uh, really be standing on the si right side of, of justice. So we're really hoping, we're really looking forward for Senator Kay and Senator Warner to do the right vote this uh, January 19 at Capitol Hill, hoping that they vote no to on a CR that does not include a DREAM Act. Uh, and we're, we're really hoping that they stand alone with the party uh, and they get the chance to push forward uh, a permanent solution for uh, immigrant youth that are uh, detention centers pretty much. Uh, immigrant youth, uh, 122 every single day are losing uh, their chance for them to stop uh, this kind of uh, deportations, uh, default deportation under this administration and that's getting a vote no on a CR that does not include a DREAM Act. Thank you. Fighting for justice and 
our dream act. Everywhere we go, people want to know who we are. So we tell them we are the immigrants, the mighty, mighty immigrants. Fighting for justice and the Dream Act. And the Dream Act.